video, we will walk through the different ways to add custom content, photos, and videos to any event within an itinerary or a proposal. The first thing we're going to want to do is select what type of event we are adding to our trip. It can be, again, for any kind of event, but for today, I'm going to select activity. For this example, I'm going to create a type of shore excursion, but again, you can choose whatever type of category you want to add in. In the notes section, this is where we can add descriptions about what is going on with this event. You can also include other details, such as the time that this might start, confirmation numbers, providers, etc. But to really grab your client's eyes and have them really interact with their trip, we want to add in some really nice looking photos and videos. In the multimedia area, this is where we can do just that. I'm going to click into this box. And what pops up are the different ways we can add media in. The first way that we're going to look at how to do this is through the database. We can use general key terms to search for royalty free images. So for today, I might search for a snorkeling image. And what pulls through again are photos that you can use that are royalty free. Choose whichever ones you want and you'll see them line up on the side here. If you have your own on your device you want to use that the supplier either sent you or that maybe you've taken photos of, you can choose the upload method. We also have the website method. If a supplier has photos on their site that you might want to try and use, just copy their URL and paste it into the search bar. Click Get Images, and we can see if we can get any photos from that website. Otherwise, if easier, you can always choose to try and copy and paste them in. As you can see, here are the photos that we were able to grab. I'm just going to grab a handful of them. And we can see them on the side here. I'm actually going to remove one because I want to add a video in. Now, as long as it's a YouTube or Vimeo video, you can grab the link and paste it in here. It's going to include the thumbnail and allow your clients to watch the video right within their trip. So I just found one on YouTube from Virgin Voyages, and I'm going to paste it in here. I'll select add video and you can see a little bit of that thumbnail that's going to come over. Let's go ahead, save our changes. We can see that lineup, but you can also rearrange the order. So if you want the video to appear first, just drag and drop it. Lastly, if you want to include important documents such as their confirmation tickets, you can do so by attaching them here. And you can also use the search bar to search for the location and bring over specific location information. This is going to allow them to click into it, and they'll have an interactive map that they can zoom in and out of and drag and drop. Once you're happy with everything, make sure to select Done Editing. I'm going to do a quick preview because it's going to look really nice for your clients this way. Here's that video and all of those photos, and they can click in here, watch the video, and scroll through all of the photos that you decide to include. But that's it. That's how you can include custom information, photos, and videos into your trips in Travify. Thanks so much for watching and make sure to check out the rest of our Getting Started videos.